I did my undergrad from JP Institute of Information Technology, Noida, and uh, it was in electronics and communication. Uh, and that was four years. And then I moved on to working for three years at a company in Bangalore named Mindtree. It was recently in news for being a hostile takeover by LNT. Uh, so after that, uh, I decided that I wanted to pursue a master's in computer science because I was working in three for three years in the computer science domain uh, in the big data domain. And so I applied to multiple universities and got the admission from CU Boulder and many other universities, I decided on CU Boulder. Okay, so the positives are that uh, it's a re really focused education. So if you want to make yourself that, okay, you want to be better at a particular thing that you can actually be better at a particular thing here, you can really be focused and the environment that you get where everyone is focused and everyone is looking forward to the same goal it brings upon a really good opportunity for everyone to learn and the you will see people from every single domain here so not just that I, uh, for me it, it was not just studying computer science it was also experiencing the culture here so uh, seeing people from multiple domains studying in the same uh, university uh, like you will see undergrads from every single domain and you'll be interacting with them either when you're working or when you are uh, when you're in the class you, you have undergrads too in your class and so th th these are the fourth years and your class typically come together mm -hmm. and also the teachers teachers are like of best quality you can get and in, in, in all the good schools you'll see too teachers who are really adept at w and what they're doing and they know what they're doing. They're pretty good in teaching too. So the, the experience is really uh, worth it. So that's one. And uh, another one is the jobs. I think they're, if you're, if you're coming here for the money, I think it's worth it too. Uh, there's a lot of money in, uh, if you are in tech, computer science, electronics, mostly, and, uh, for mechanical engineers, uh, I would still say that uh, be wary about coming here because you, you need to be really good at what you're doing to get an internship or a job here. So uh, otherwise, for, if you're in computer science, IT, electronics, you're all welcome. Uh, and uh, drawbacks, I would say the biggest drawback of being here is, I don't know, maybe it's just uh, being away from the family, your friends over there. and not being able to see them every day that that being one and nothing else I, I see everything else is a positive but that's just as a person who i am maybe other people can tell you more negatives about it i don't um so when i was when i was in school it used to be uh, securing a job is very important because i was self-sponsoring myself i didn't really take uh I didn't really take a, uh, take anything uh, from uh, anything from like within the family or anything. So I was self sponsoring. So I had to make sure that I'm able to pay the rent and manage my food and everything. So yeah, uh, with the with the job that I had, I was able to do it pretty well. I, I was uh, offered a GCA, that's a graduate course assistant position. So during school, I was a GCA for both the semesters, and. Uh, yeah, that was enough to give me uh, manage my rent, food, and also basic travel needs. Which I uh, like. I I I I want to travel. I I travel a lot, so uh, I was able to get enough money to travel and manage all these things. So that was enough. And now as I'm working, uh, I'm an intern right now. So uh, currently, it's all chill in terms of managing money. No, uh, I was planning on doing an MBA <laughs> back in the day. Uh, actually, when, you go, when you're doing your undergrad, you never know what you want to do. But after you're done with your undergrad and you, you see the world outside, how it is, what are your actual interests, you, your plan changes, like mostly. I've seen a lot of people changing their career plans as, as, they, as they are able to move into the cultural fit of it and they see, okay, this is where they actually belong and then they move forward. So that happened to me uh, from electronics and having an aspiration to be an MBA person, I shifted to 
uh, working for three years in the tech domain, doing some good stuff on big data and distributed systems, and wanting to pursue a master's in computer science in this domain. So yeah, it completely changed. It was a complete U-turn from what I was doing previously. I think when I'm interning right now is one of my dream jobs because it is of a data engineering intern. So I, I wanted to work on distributed systems and real-time pipelines, and that is what I'm doing right now. So I think this is what I want to do. Maybe if I'm able to convert it to full-time, that would be something I want to do. And maybe look for other opportunities who, which are offering me similar uh, technical expertise, but um, means you know, maybe uh, it depends on location too. Uh, I don't want to be a place where I'm, I'm there, but I'm not able to find my cultural fit because that is also important. So being in a place where I can find my cultural fit, but also being able to work on what I want to, that is that would be the ideal job for me. It was it was very helpful. Um, with the help of Yorkit, I was able to see how other people are doing in terms of the universities also like, are the I would basically check your kit to see okay are these this has these universities admit started coming or not so that is regularly what I used to do the articles in your kit were so helpful I was able to re all the important things that I packed me and the all the important things and all the documents that I wanted to that I had to have in the order that I wanted them to have and I, I think this was just the the most complete platform that you wanted which could help you in your journey and because it isn't well, very well documented. I, I didn't really take a counselor with me. So uh, this thing really helped me because everything was ordered, planned, and this really helped. And also one more thing, I think uh, it gives you the tells you that, okay, this university is ambitious for you or not ambitious for you. Uh, so that helped me in shortlisting the universities too. So I think it was just the complete platform for me that helped me in the journey. Uh, if you're looking, is if you, I, I think most of the uh, uh, most of the people who want, who want to come now will be looking for a master's degree. And uh, if you're looking for a master's degree, then you need to, you should be looking forward to get in. First of all, uh, try to get a job on campus for the semester, and after that, try to get an internship. So I think as soon as you arrive, the positions will start to open up for intern positions for the summer. And that's when you need to catch up and start applying as soon as possible because these positions start filling up pretty early. Like by, you won't even know, like people will have internships by October and by November. And uh, if, you, if you miss out on that, then uh, it re becomes really hard to catch up. And it really feels sad later that you, you, you didn't really apply early and you could have had more job opportunities because many companies close their application deadlines by December. So you need to be really quick and as soon as you come, maybe by September, you can start applying to these positions. And start doing, if you're in computer science background, start doing lead code and code chef and all these things, which really help in uh, in cracking the, the hacker ranks that you get from these companies for the initial screening. And they really help. So yeah.